that decision making is really feeling justified by logic. That's how we decide. This comes as a shock to many people, particularly as fellows. Right? What do you mean? Well, it's just logic, isn't it? Well, I'm afraid to tell you it's not. I'll give you a couple of examples. Now, if you're like most blokes, when you go home at the end of the evening, like me, okay, you go home, you know, and your other half says to you, what do you fancy for dinner tonight? No, if you're anything like me, you go, I don't know. <laughs> Food! <laughs> Whatever's in the cupboard. We'll have that. But you decide. Right? So you haven't got a strong feeling one way or the other. You can't make a decision. Right? If you haven't got a strong feeling, you cannot decide what to do. In order to decide what to do, you need a strong feeling. Right? And that feeling has to input the logic. So in response to the exact same question, on another evening you go home and my wife says, what do you want for dinner tonight? You say, a curry. You decide. You make a decision. Why? Because you've got a strong feeling that day. I feel like a curry. And then she'll say, well, what do you want a curry for? Right? Now here comes all the logic to justify what I... Oh, we haven't had a curry for ages. There's that new curry house down the road. We get away from the kids. There's no washing up. There's a... And all this logic comes in to justify what we feel. Right? So that's how we decide a thing. Right? Decision-making is feelings justified by logic. How do you decide which company to acquire? Should we acquire company A or should we acquire company B? What do we do? We do sort of financial analysis and we look at the evidence for company A and company B. And we have various people working over that data and all laid out and proposals for A and proposals for B. And what do we do? We weigh the evidence. What does that really mean? It means we go... Uh, B. And then somebody says, hang on, why are we going for B? That was your feeling, B, right? And then you look for all the data in those documents to justify why B, right? So the very point of decision making is a feeling. That's why it's so ironic to me how we try to factor out feelings and emotions in business. You can't. You might pretend to yourself that you can. You might like to kid yourself that they've got nothing to do with business, feelings and emotions. That's, that's things that women have. You know, us fellas. It's not true. Right? We cannot decide anything without a feeling. Right? It requires both feeling and logic. I'm not saying the logic's not relevant. It's terribly important. Right? But you need both the logic and the feeling. The feeling is critical, which is why it's critical to be making effective decisions as a leader, to understand what feelings are, what emotions are, and how they're based on the biology. Right? To tune into that whole agenda. Because actually that's what's determining the effectiveness of your decision making.